live, the beautiful California poppies bloom in the spring and only last a few weeks. I made a tissue paper version so I could enjoy them all year long. For this project, you will need orange and yellow tissue paper, green pipe cleaners, scissors, paper or a note card, and a pen. The first step is to make a pattern to trace for your flowers. You're going to have to freehand this one because I really can't think of anything to trace around that's going to make the right shape. Fold a note card or a piece of paper in half. Then, with a pen, draw half the petal shape, starting with the fold on your left. Like so. When you're finished with that, cut it out. and unfold the pattern. It should look something like this. Right? It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be um, exactly like this. Anything close will do. Prepare the stem by cutting out a piece of yellow tissue paper. You don't have to um, measure this, but it's about two inches by one inch. Hold the pipe cleaner up against the short edge of the tissue paper leaving about a quarter inch extra at the top. Twist the tissue paper around the pipe cleaner and then twist it to hold it into place. With the extra at the top, fold it down and then fold the pipe cleaner again to sandwich that extra piece and keep it in place. Now that we've got the stem prepped, we're gonna cut out the petals of the poppy. We're going to cut out our pattern on the fold, on this bottom straight edge. Place that along the fold of your tissue paper and draw around the pattern. You could go through several layers at once and cut it out, leaving the fold intact. Also with the yellow tissue paper, you're going to cut out a center for your flowers. So you can just freehand a circle about one and a quarter to one and a half inches around, or you can find something to trace around, but it doesn't have to be a perfect circle, so I'm just gonna go ahead and freehand my circles. Again, you wanna cut through several tissue layers at once. Now with these um, pieces, I'm gonna make a fringe all the way around. So the easiest way to do that, I find, is to fold the circle in force hold on to the point so that you don't cut too far into the center and then just cut some small cuts just about a quarter of an inch all the way around. Now we're going to assemble the flower. For each poppy you'll need four of the large petal pieces and three of the center pieces. So take each center piece and carefully poke the pipe cleaner through the middle. Then carefully slide it all the way up to the yellow top. Once you get to the top, you're going to scrunch it up a little bit. Repeat with the other two pieces, scrunching each one as you get to the top. And now it's time for the large petals. So again, you're going to poke that pipe cleaner just through the middle of the poppy and slide it up. Now this one, you're really gonna do a good smash on the petals, okay? So take it in your palm like this and really wrinkle it up. I promise you're not ruining it. It's gonna be more realistic looking the more you smash it up. So do the same thing for the other three poppy pieces. Once you're finished, you want to spin the petals around so that they're evenly placed. Once you're happy with the petal placement, go ahead and smash it up one last time. And you've got your beautiful poppy. You can experiment with making different sizes and colors of these poppies. I like to make them large like this because just a bouquet of three looks pretty stunning. I've got lots of other tissue paper flower instructions on my channel, as well as a lot of different craft ideas. So please subscribe so you don't miss an episode.